Battle of the Parks. In Orlando, you've got College Park, Baldwin Park, Laureate Park, Thornton Park, Audubon Park, Story Park. Did I miss any? And for those looking for walkability and proximity to all things Orlando, College Park and Baldwin Park are two great neighborhoods to consider, especially when your budget is around one million. Now, there's certainly homes for less money than a million in these two areas, but today we're gonna take you through some new construction options, as well as some beautifully renovated properties in both College Park and Baldwin Park. The trend to have walkability around your home certainly comes with a price increase because you'll have that lifestyle to walk to amenities, restaurants, and shopping around your home. My name's Justin Pekarik, your Orlando Property Advisor, and I'm making this series of videos to share my knowledge with you guys at home and help you discover what it's like to live in these pockets of Orlando for your budget. So come along with us today and discover some brand new construction as well as resale homes in these two great areas of Orlando. The authentic charm of College Park's Edgewater Drive, brick-lined streets, and tree-lined streets certainly creates that small-town USA feel. Many of these smaller bungalows are being torn down and new construction built in its place, similar to what's going on in Winter Park, Florida, but for a lower price point. In addition to new constructions, some of the best locations near Edgewater Drive and walkable to schools, restaurants, and shopping can be a nice renovated home, which puts you in the heart of the College Park District. Zooming down in on Orlando, you can see the College Park region just to the west of I-4 and north of Colonial and stretching all the way up to Lee Road where Winter Park comes in. On the west side, you have the new Packing District along 441 and then Edgewater runs north and south through the center. Many of the streets are named after famous universities around the country. Driving the charming streets of College Park as we head down to Lake Adair and Lake Ivanhoe, really reminds you of the history of this area, as well as the modernization that's going on with certain builds and renovations in 32804. Let's first stop on the east side of College Park to check out a new construction build in progress. So this house is not quite finished yet. You can see where it's in the final stages. The builder is putting in the kitchen, the cabinets, the floors are in. So it's nearly there. And this is an example of an inventory home, something that's already been built. It's about to be done soon and you don't have to wait that entire year and a half to build a custom home. Look at this big glass slider. It spans the whole rear of the home. Good sized backyard. You could totally add a pool later if you wanted to. This will be the pot filler. I love the jack shaft opener. It brings the door up taller. Got smooth drywall, high ceilings. This is the primary upstairs. This house is 3,100 square feet, five bedroom, four and a half bathroom. Two shower heads. Nice bright kids bath. Good sized bedrooms. I love finding these inventory homes around town that are nearly complete. So when you walk in it, what you see is what you get. And you won't have to wait that long period of time to do a teardown, design the home, and wait 18 months to two years to build it. You can see it's a nicer family home with a large backyard and puts you in a great spot close to downtown Orlando. The street itself has some nice trees as well as some custom homes peppered in. In addition to this brand new home being built, we recently toured this beautiful custom home that was a resale built by Verge Properties, Mr. Chris Barnes. Beautiful home. Here's some footage at all the bells and whistles of a custom home with that modern style. And it's already pending. So you gotta wait for those opportunities like that to pop up. Corner lot, college park area, nice finishes, and you too could step right into a custom home. The vibe of College Park. I think you gotta first find your favorite street. You know, the closer you are to Edgewater Drive, you're gonna have more walkability. But on this east side of College Park, you feel like you're really connected to downtown Orlando to go out to the Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center. Uh, HOA, definitely that's not gonna fly. Look at all these new homes in one strip. Love to see that, the development going on where you might have a chance to live near another custom home and make you feel like you're all new on that same strip. And speaking of streets, when you drive through these areas of Orlando, you might say this street looks nicer than that street. And that could be because of the tree line, the lack of power lines, or a number of homes have already been developed 
on that street, while still maintaining its authenticity with a mix of old bungalows and newer renovated properties. We were lucky enough to get inside this one before it was listed. And you can see this is a premium build with a swimming pool already, nice finishes, and just a great street overall. Now this one's not quite finished yet, it's, it's nearly done. It's not even on the market yet. So you're getting one of the first looks at this brand new home in College Park. Beautiful new swimming pool. Love the mature trees, the canopy, and your little slice of heaven. So close to everything, downtown Orlando, Lake Highland Prep, Bishop Moore, you name it, it's around you here. The natural woods and golds. Oh, interesting fact. With these beautiful freestanding tubs, many times the faucet costs more than the tub. It's just inviting you to go for a walk. Go down to Dubs Dread and play golf. It's like right around the corner. Now let's head right along Edgewater Drive and check out a beautiful renovated resale home with some unique qualities. I think part of the draw of a no HOA area isn't just saving on HOA fees, but the fact that you're going to have a mixture of different types of properties and unique qualities, such as this one's huge back driveway, side yard, and a sprawling layout, not to mention how close it is to Edgewater Drive, provide that feeling that you have something nobody else has. Living this close to Edgewater Drive is definitely a vibe. Just knowing you can go walk to restaurant, dinner option, lunch, events, it's all right there. Welcome to this fully renovated home that's bigger than you think. 3,000 square feet of all renovated kitchen, bathrooms, nice floors. They even have the extra tall fence that you're allowed to do because on the other side, it's commercial zoning. Speaking of zoning, this parcel has an interesting opportunity. You're residential, but you're in an area where you could operate a business out of the home. Oh, look at this. Not the tallest ceiling, but it's big, big closet. Now that's what I'm talking about, your backyard oasis. This was all thanks to Go Hardscape, Mr. Austin Snipes, the vision to create this little quaint area with the turf and all the pavers and hardscape. And one of the largest driveways I've ever seen in this area. You could park a huge truck here. And a quick reminder, you can just go for a walk to the end of the block and go have some food. Solar panels on the roof too. And after you've completed your work for the day, it's nice to go for a walk down to Edgewater Drive and check out what College Park has to offer. The laid back vibe of College Park makes you feel like you want to spend time in that bubble. And Dubs Dread Golf Course and the Tap Room is certainly a place that I would like to spend time at hitting those golf balls. Now let's head over to Baldwin Park, just east of downtown Orlando, along the strip of New Broad Street. In the late 90s, Baldwin Park was built on a naval base. They planted all these oak trees and it created this amazing canopy now 25 years later. And part of its allure is how close it is to everything Winter Park, downtown Orlando, Colonial, but still with a master plan feel that has really come into its fruition in the last five to 10 years. The area around New Broad Street makes you feel like small town USA with restaurants, gymnastics, after school activities, and the beautiful Lake Baldwin and walking trail all the way around. And having a plethora of styles of homes to choose from, such as larger single family, smaller single family, and townhomes, many of which within walking distance of that new Broad Street, only confirms why there aren't that many homes for sale in Baldwin Park. Looking at the map, you can see how Baldwin Park is sort of wedged in between everything around it. And there's really two sections of Baldwin as it goes around the lake. There's additional homes up here in the northeast quadrant approaching Semeron. But the really nice spot to be is, of course, within a few blocks of New Broad Street here, or a little bit to the east, where there's some beautiful streets and water views around larger homes. In addition to the high-rated public schools around these two areas, there's many private school options to choose from heading into Winter Park and downtown Orlando. Here's one of the smaller single-family homes options in Baldwin. This is a resale for $650,000 with nice floors, open layout, and a great location within the neighborhood. Here's one on the west side of the neighborhood that sold recently just over a million. 
with four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, an office, and high ceilings in the family room, great room, and a humongous yard with a rear detached garage. Baldwin Park also has some unique live and work options with townhomes featuring a business out front with its own separate entrance. This one sold for $8.90 and it's right by the Publix. Now let's go inside one of these beautiful units in Baldwin Park. And this one has a special feature that most townhomes don't have. So here we are in beautiful Baldwin Park with the mature trees, new Broad Street, and all the shops and restaurants are just down the way. And I'm gonna show you the only townhome that has a swimming pool. And it's nearly 3,000 square feet, beautiful finishes. It's right here. It's like you're walking into a Washington DC brownstone. Bigger than you expect. It feels like a single family home. I bet you weren't expecting this from a townhome. Amazing to have this total package. And the price? Just over a million. Now there's other single family homes from three bedrooms all the way up to five bedrooms in that 800,000 to 1.3 and up range. But what you'll find is when you wait for the right opportunity, you can still be in for that 300 to 400 a square foot price point. Baldwin Park was built on an old naval base in the late 90s. So it's had 25 years of growth and I feel like it's reached its epitome of neighborhoody feel factor. And that's probably why there isn't too many listings available right now. This spring, we'll hope for more and be ready to make that opportunity yours. There's a downstairs primary. This HOA area, everything looks beautiful, but you do pay to be in that HOA. And that's covering a lot of the common area mains. And with this property, it's covering the roof, the paint on the outside, and the landscaping of your townhome. So that being said, the combined HOAs for this property is about 680 a month, whereas College Park, zero HOA. Just like the College Park five minute radius bubble I talked about, living in Baldwin provides you a similar bubble experience, but the idea that you could hop in the car and within 10 or 15 minutes, get to a whole bunch of other pocket neighborhoods like Winter Park, downtown Orlando, things to do, shopping, dining, makes you feel connected to what's going on around Orlando. And speaking of HOA payments, the single family homes have a much more reasonable HOA payment of 553 semi-annually. And although I won't take you on a run on the trail right now, we can certainly show you what dining with lake views behind you feels like. So as we sit down to lunch with beautiful Lake Baldwin behind us, you're seeing the trail, you're seeing the lifestyle here, this amazing Mexican feud. This is a mocktail, by the way. Give this a shot. Ah, I feel like I'm in the islands. In these premium areas of Orlando that are very much established, it's gonna be a hunt and peck and wait for the right opportunity, the right street, the right set of qualities to pop up, maybe in the springtime. And you wanna be ready because those type of listings come up and there could be multiple people looking at those. So you wanna have all your cash ready, your loan ready, and really have your set of criteria dialed in. At the same token, you might wanna look in the same school district adjacent to these favorite areas such as with Baldwin, you can go to Winter Park Pines and you're still in Glen Ridge Middle and Winter Park High School. And with College Park, you also have that ability to go over to the west side with the packing district that's all new. Plus there's multiple private schools in this area. We drove right past Lake Highland Prep in between College Park and Baldwin Park. And Audubon Park has some other great spots to walk around and enjoy restaurants and shopping. So I hope you enjoyed this brief lifestyle tour of Baldwin Park and College Park today. If you have any questions about Orlando real estate and where we're headed, be sure and reach out below. I'd love to help. In the meantime, let's enjoy this amazing steak taco. Mm. Cancun, we're right there. The battle of the parks continues around Orlando, where we feature more neighborhoods at different budgets. So consider subscribing. Thank you again for watching and reaching out for all things Orlando real estate. I'm Justin Pekarik, your Orlando property advisor. See you on the next one.